Want to speak real Italian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at italianpod101.com. Hi everyone, welcome back to Italian Pod 101. My name is Desi, mi chiamo Desi, and in this video I'm gonna teach you the days of the week in Italian. I giorni della settimana. I giorni della settimana. Where giorni is days and week is settimana. The days of the week in Italian, like in some other languages as well, take their name from planets. So an easy way to remember the days of the week is to think about planets. Don't think about the correct order though, because it's not the real one. Okay, let's start with Monday. It takes its name from la luna, which is the moon, lunes in Latin, and it becomes lunedì. Lunedì. Keep in mind that di means day, so you will encounter this ending of the word for many of the days, not all of them, but almost. Okay, let's imagine a schedule for the week so that we can have some examples. And let's say that il lunedì ho lezione di italiano. On Mondays I have Italian classes. Il lunedì ho lezione di italiano. Invece, while, il martedì vado in palestra. On Tuesdays I go to the gym. If you don't add il and just say martedì vado in palestra, we assume that you're going to the gym this Tuesday, but not every Tuesday. Instead, if you say il martedì vado in palestra, it implies that you go every Tuesday. Martedì comes from Marte, so Mars. Martedì. Then we have mercoledì from Mercury, Mercurio. Mercoledì, mercoledì. Mercoledì esco con le amiche. Wednesday I'll go out with my girlfriends. Or con gli amici. With my friends. Giovedì mi riposo. On Thursday I'll rest. Giovedì comes from Giove, so Jupiter. Giovedì. And then it comes what we all are in love with. Venerdì. Venerdì. From Venere, so Venus. Friday. Friday I'll go to the cinema. Venerdì andrò al cinema. Or il venerdì vado al cinema. If you go every Friday. So till here, ending with di, we have lunedì, martedì, mercoledì, giovedì, and venerdì. The five days of the week. Then it comes the weekend, and we have Saturday, sabato, Sabato. Here there are many theories. So some people say it comes from the sun or just from Sabbatic, which is the Hebraic etymology. So let's just think about the planets from Monday till Friday, okay? From lunedì to venerdì. Then just remember Sabato, as it is, and Domenica too. Domenica is Sunday. Domenica. Il sabato faccio le pulizie. On Saturdays I clean or sabato vado a fare la spesa. On Saturday I buy groceries, while domenica dormo tutto il giorno. I sleep all day long. Dormo tutto il giorno. Some other words that are useful when talking about the days of the week are oggi, so today. Oggi è domenica. Today is Sunday. Domani, tomorrow. Domani. Domani è lunedì. Domani è lunedì. While ieri era sabato. Ieri, yesterday. Ieri era sabato. If you want to say the day after tomorrow is dopo domani. Easy. Dopo means after and domani is tomorrow. So after tomorrow as in English, dopo domani. Dopo domani è martedì. While the day before yesterday is not prima ieri, well, prima is before, but we say l'altro ieri. So the other yesterday. Kind of like the other day. L'altro ieri. Also, when talking about days of the week, if you want to specify if it's this week or next one or the last one that just passed, we say questo martedì, this Tuesday. Actually, it's correct to say 
next Tuesday, il prossimo martedì, because it has to come, right? But in the spoken language, we say this Tuesday, questo martedì, for the one that is the closest to us, while we refer to the one that is coming up next, so next week, as il prossimo martedì, the next Tuesday, which is not next as the first one that comes, but the first one that comes after the one that is closest to me. <laughs> and now, I know it sounds confusing, but it's not. We have questa settimana, so this week, with questo martedì, questo mercoledì, questo giovedì, so this Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, and next Tuesday, next Wednesday, next Thursday, so il prossimo martedì, prossimo mercoledì, prossimo giovedì. While if we are talking about Tuesday last week, then is lo scorso martedì, scorso. And you can use scorso, which literally means past, with the week too. La scorsa settimana, last week. This week, questa settimana, and next week, la prossima settimana. For example, we're meeting for our Italian lessons on Monday, and I say, lo scorso lunedì la lezione è stata molto interessante. Last Monday, the lesson was really interesting. Lunedì prossimo non faremo lezione perché è festa. Next Monday, we won't have a lesson because it's a holiday. È festa. It's a holiday. So yeah, use the time to study. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let me know what are your plans for next Thursday. Cosa fai il prossimo giovedì? Cosa fai il prossimo giovedì? What are you doing next Thursday? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to click the link in the description to download the PDF lessons with all the essential phrases that you need in your everyday life. Also, please like and subscribe if you liked this video and want to see more content. And I'll see you soon. Ciao! Ciao, ciao!